They're getting bigger as they're coming in. 43 GMC. Those of you that are hoping to uh, go away with a trophy today, if you haven't taken your... What year is this one? 56. 56? Smooth as anything, he's done a lot of work on it. I think he's rebuilt the engine himself. For 56, there it is. Right, uh, up to more modern stuff. Jaguar's answer of a muscle car. The thing that followed the E-Type, the XJS. 5.3 litre. The V12 engine, absolute plumber's nightmare when you look under the bonnet. <laughs> Another little Nash Metropolitan. What year is this one? 58. This one's a 58, a little bit younger. See, we've got a column change there. Four speed or three? Three speed. Three speed column change. Again, with a little continental spare wheel on it, white wall tires. We, uh, we have quite a link with American cars with these vehicles. A little scaled down American car, really. So really, it was quite a powerful engine for the small body and that narrow track. Right, now here's something different. You won't see many of these. There's a little Opal GT. Not many of these in the country. This one is in super condition. Have you restored it, sir? Yeah, it's fairly solid. We had it brought over from California about three years ago. Um, it was solid, no rust at all. Here we are, the Zodiac Executive. And one of the last of them. 300 miles on that one, I think, and a couple of others. So it's a A very characteristic uh, grill. Nothing like it. Also physically a very large car as well. Quite a big car for house. But uh, a car styled in uh, excellent perspective. Now seeing it, very distinctive car indeed. Thank you, Dave. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Who 
next day, probably the businessman's sort of ordinary family saloon. An unrestored one this time. Pontiac Catalina, 1959. Again, a two-door sedan. Quite a rare car here. Very, very distinctive by the twin fins at the back. Uh, Pontiac uh, really styled things a little bit differently. 59, obviously, quite a radical year. Wrap round screen. How long have you had this one? It's not mine. This one's not yours. Is it a uh, friend? Yeah. Just let, let you borrow it for the day. If we've got uh, the odd Mustang there, a 60s Corvette out there, stuff like that, let's see some of it through. Some typical cars of the 60s, please. Next. Well, we know 
who's going to win it next weekend. Rest us all. Right. It's taken many years to suss out again. And I really mean that. Nigel and Sue Henry, come out here. Oh, oh, oh. 